situation as you described. Yeah? And then in one of our national associations, they did it in that way. They first added to the uh, crisis communication plan something that was related for social communities. And um, the social community position was also a, a junior position. But then they started to think about and say, hey, we could not work him alone in this position. We have to have regular meetings. So and now they start working, having weekly meetings about only social communities with the junior position and all other fundraisers to support the junior in the job. And this is at the moment a good way they can work with. Another layer of com complexity that we tend to have is um, because we're dealing with francophone and anglophone French English issue, 24% of our constituents are French speaking, and so, but we don't have the resources or the immediacy of social media to always be able to retweet or, or to update our Facebook page in both official languages. And I'm wondering, do others face that? How do you overcome it? Because I was given a proposal the other day by by our marketing communications director who said basically, well, we do about one blog a week, so how about if we do 10 of them in French? And I thought, uh, speaking as a person whose mother tongue is French, I say all or nothing, like don't just do 10. And so I don't know if any others have <coughs> encountered that kind of thing. I mean, this might completely horrify you, and it does most people. One of the things we've done with organisations in the past is getting volunteers to do that sort of stuff. You know, so we're definitely looking at French-speaking interns as a you know university students that kind of thing. But yeah. it, I mean, obviously the UN is a slightly different beast, maybe, but it kind of works for them. So, mm -hmm. and also maybe not even people who work for the organisation, but are kind of connected in some way. The challenge being that you then probably need to check what they've done. Sure. Which you know, maybe doesn't save you 